I love football. I always have loved football. I loved everything about it. Football was my identity, but I paid a heavy price. About 20 years ago, I started feeling symptoms uh, related to what I later found out to be a brain injury as a result of football. It started to build to the point where it became almost debilitating at times. It was suggested that we go visit Dr. Nazer at the Boston VA because she was having success treating Gulf War vets with near-infrared light. And we started a six-week protocol where they would shine near-infrared light on my head for 20 minutes, three days a week. One week after that 18th treatment, he had done very well. He improved by two standard deviations on several cognitive tests. And the thing he was so happy about, and his wife, was his emotional outburst had gone way down. His PTSD, as it were, post-traumatic stress disorder, was way down. So I left Boston with this grand idea to, to introduce this and save football. But what I found was people were happy to talk about it, uh, but the most I really got was a pat on the back. So when I got back, I was contacted by the newspaper. There was a couple articles written about me and my experience. And through that, I caught the attention of some researchers at University of Utah. Larry's story was kind of our first introduction to photobiomodulation. And it was a really interesting story and a very compelling, uh, though anecdotal. Uh, and it wasn't until he actually showed us his uh, brain scans where he was showing us the effects of the light therapies that he underwent on his resting state functional MRIs that uh, we really began to look at this and go, there's something here we need to kind of take a look at this and see if uh, we can understand, you know, how this is impacting uh, functional um, activity in the brain. The studies that we're doing involve people that have had a history usually of repetitive head hits. Uh, most of them are ex-athletes or current athletes. We're doing a, a pre-treatment, uh, pre post-treatment design where we test them and scan them before they undergo the, the treatment. It's an eight-week treatment. And then we scan and test them again um, after the treatment is, is completed. And um, I think the, the most interesting uh, thing to us has been that not a single one of them wanted to give the device back. I was starting to shut down socially and now I feel like I'm back to where, you know, where I was before. I've noticed a tremendous effect with the light and I can't go without it. My wife, she would pay millions to have that light. Everything else was coping, it was a band-aid, but it wasn't healing and when I began using the V-Light, I felt like my brain was healing. There's three primary mechanisms that people have considered as to ways that this may be helping. So the first is it improves circulation. And so circulation is obviously important in you know, healing processes for many things, but also in just delivering you know, different tissues, the, the nutrients that they need and things like that. So, so circulation is, the, is one of the mechanisms. The second mechanism is, mito, is it addresses mitochondrial dysfunction. So it allows um, energy to pr be produced in a more efficient way. And then the third mechanism is to address inflammation. So there are some thoughts that the light may actually play an important role in reducing inflammatory processes that may occur from a host of different kinds of injury. You know, I didn't really start feeling the effects of all of the hits until just recently, like within the last two years. I just noticed that my emotions were starting to get out of control and I, it wasn't me. I didn't feel like I, I was acting like myself. I felt so connected to Larry and his wife. Some of the things that they talked about in the article, I felt like I was living in that moment, um, going through those similar things, and I didn't feel alone. I had a free agent off with the Dallas Cowboys, but I just had so many concussions, and I had a kid at the time, and I just thought, I don't know if I should continue to play football. I didn't really notice it till probably 10, even 20 years later, just having a normal conversation with your wife and all of a sudden I just blow up. I just go into this rage and it's scary. It scares me. And you can imagine the effect it had on my wife and my mother, my daughters. You're out in public and all of a sudden you're just a madman. You're, 
you just, it's, and you can't control it and you can't stop it. Probably like eight years ago, I probably like, that's kind of felt like pretty hopeless, like um, just dark, like that's about it. Like a, a lot of anger, a lot of rage, like those type of things, like reacting to, I would react to things as like things that I shouldn't react to. It was much easier to blow up. My temper, my fuse seemed so much shorter that I, um, you know, it started to cause a lot of problems. So he initially went into the University of Utah for testing and an MRI. Um, they just did all the initial background testing and then we were given a home device to use at home. I feel very hopeful. I know it's just been six months or so since he's used it, but it's changed our lives tremendously. I'm feeling a lot more normal. If anything, I'm feeling a lot more energized, a lot more social, and a lot happier. That has been the new normal since I started using the device, so I feel like things are back to where they were. When I'm on the light, I've never had one episode, and that's amazing. You know, I don't know how many episodes I've had in my whole life, but uh, I've never had one when I'm on the line. I feel like I've, I've calmed down a lot and I, I don't really notice it myself, but like a lot of my close family members and people I've been around told me that they see how it's helped me and how it's evened me out a little bit. You can see some uh, visible changes, primarily in those functional images, the resting state images. There looks like there's additional, we call it coherence, within the networks that we typically measure using those types of MRI assessments. So you can actually see the strength of the connections improving in those images. Mine was more of a sort of brain fog, feeling sort of like you're operating in quicksand. Qualitatively, I, I just I felt a lot sharper mentally, uh, sharper at, at work, dealing with my colleagues, interacting with my family and friends, and I do a lot of training for triathlons, swim bike run events. You know, over the course of the six to eight weeks that uh, I was doing the, the headset treatments, I increased the power output on my bicycle by about 5%, which you might normally hope for over the course of a year. It has such a low side effect profile that there's really no dangers to trying it. It's a really promising technology. I think there's still a lot we don't know and a lot of research is desperately needed to move this into a space where it can be available to everybody. Uh, doing this type of research for 25 years, I think we, we're kind of onto something that might actually help people that are typically overlooked by a lot of professionals because they are really difficult to treat. It really did feel like an answer to lots of prayers and just searching and it really has been a blessing and a miracle in our lives. I feel a great sense of urgency to get this studied and researched and validated. While it's been around for 50 years, while its efficacy has been shown to be significant, uh, there's still, quote, educated people that don't take it serious. And, and hopefully through this work, it will be looked at as a very important tool in fighting brain disease.